Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and as for today, I will be talking about berries in my fragrances. So whether they're blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, bluecurrant, those notes, they always give me such um, playful, flirty vibe. Although berries are not for everyone, as some people would find um, berry notes or berry scents more juvenile, unsophisticated, unexpensive smelling perfume, but to me, I like them. As I've mentioned, they are my happy perfumes. They always give me that fresh, um, playful, happy vibe. So in this video, I'll show you my favorite berry perfumes and some which I think are a little sophisticated berry notes perfume. So first one is my ever favorite berry dominated perfume in my collection and this is Jimmy Choo's Blossom. So this one has um, sharp berry notes, berry scent in this perfume. It has red berries, raspberry, which is to be honest all I could smell in this perfume. I'm not getting any other notes such as moss, sandalwood, um, rose. I'm not getting it in this perfume. This is like a blast of raspberry scent. This has a jammy raspberry scent which I like. I just recently discovered I love jammy scent. Jammy rose, jammy raspberry, those sort of type of scent and this is one reason why I love this perfume a lot. This changed my mood in an instant whenever I smell this perfume. It gives me such a boost every time. So next one is Viva La Juicy Noir. So this perfume, another flirty scent. I like this one. It's very sweet. Though I don't find this one sophisticated or mature though. I still find this one useful but a little bit mature compared to the other Viva La Juicy. This still has um, all the same as the Viva, original Viva La Juicy one though this one is I would say more fruity. I'm getting more of tropical fruit and berries in this perfume. This one is caramel and berries. Really delicious. I love it. One of my favorite among the Viva um, La Juicy range. So next one are for those who prefer the, those that are more sophisticated, mature, and elegant smelling perfumes. And this is, first one is Sexy Rubies from Michael Kors. So this one has a raspberry notes in it. I could get the raspberry right away, but it isn't your um, typical very sweet, jammy, or syrupy raspberry in here. This one actually has a very weird scent I would say but it's also unique it has that raspberry and smoky I'm really getting a literal smoke in this perfume almost like an incense though it isn't listed in the notes so this dries down into a little powdery floral scent but the raspberry still lingers in there so I'm a little bit in offense on this one sometimes I, I like it due to its uniqueness I find this one a little mature and elegant though sometimes I find it too mature as well. So next one is I Marie Corset. So this one has a raspberry liqueur, rose, and the cacao pad on the dry down. But I'm getting more of the cacao pad and the raspberry in here. This one is really sweet. This is actually one of my favorite among the I Marie range. This one has that strong raspberry and chocolatey scent. Almost remind me of like a raspberry powdered candy. This one as well is the same as the original Imory, quite powdery, but this one is more of a dusty sort of powdery scent. It's actually quite interesting. I like the combination of the liquor, raspberry, and the cacao pads in this perfume. So next one is another Biba La Juicy perfume, and this one is I Love Couture. I love Juicy Couture perfume. So this one, I haven't really paid much attention on this because I was I love those caramel um, scent from, from the other Viva La Juicy range, but when I wore this one yesterday, this actually got my attention. This is really pretty, different, totally different from the other Viva La Juicy. This still is sweet, but it isn't the caramel gourmand type of sweet. Instead, this is more um, like a fruity scent. Fruity, but also a little bit woody and fresh scent to me. This, is, this smells more classy compared to the other Viva La Juicy um, perfumes. So the berry notes in this perfume is the red currant, which is also quite dominant in this perfume together with the red apple. Red apple is what makes this one, I think, fresh. It's fresh, fruity, fresh scent to me and a little bit woody. Dries down into a very sweet, fruity scent. Reminds me of YSL's Mon Paris. They have that same sweetness in the dry down. Speaking of Mon Paris, we could also add that one in this list. I don't have the bottle, but I have a decant of that. 
and it has a very delicious fruity strawberry notes in there which is quite dominant in that perfume as well all i could remember is that sweet sweet dry down which also reminds me of the juicy couture so last perfume here is another sophisticated mature scent which is another proof that not all berry notes would make a perfume more um, flirty girly um, juvenile kind of scent and this one is la vie et belle by lancome the black current is the first thing that i could get on this one especially on the opening it's for me it's a strong fruity scent which i know is the black current in there and then later on i'm getting the patchouli scent and as for the dry down is where i'm getting those sweet gourmand notes in this perfume lasting power is really what i'm impressed about this one it lasted not just for a day but for days especially in your clothes so those are some of my perfumes that has quite distinct berry smell in it some are girly and flirtatious and some are quite mature and sophisticated depending on your preference so i'm going to end my video now as it is now almost sunset and it's getting darker so i apologize if the lighting keeps um changing and i keep changing my position as well because i'm just relying on the natural lights and right now it's almost getting dark so see you again next time and thank you for watching Thank <laughs> you.